Hello everyone, this is Shakir Ali. Today we'll be talking about CCV2 port. We'll be going over through its features and intricacies. Here is the agenda for today's presentation. We'll be going over through these following points and understanding them further. The first one is reason behind development. Even before reason behind development, I feel it's very crucial that we talk about the current process itself and its importance. The process that we're trying to automate and ease is the deployment process, especially within an active development environment. Within an active development environment, we have multiple stakeholders such as project managers, business analysts, quality assurance, engineers from front end and back end team. And timely deployments is very crucial for these stakeholders to review their work provide feedback and move on to the other tasks. Now we, now we found a flaw within the current way the deployment works is that somebody from the backend team would take the responsibility of deployments and the, pro the process goes as follows. So they would go to CCV2 portal, they would initiate a build, the build would take 25 to 30 minutes after the build is complete, they will raise a deployment. The deployment could take from anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour based on the configuration. Now, though a simple process, it can be tedious because there can be multiple builds required from multiple environments. And it takes time away from the backend team or developer to focus on their core work, which is the backend architecture. With the process where the front end Spartacus is coupled with the back end. The front end team could require a deployment, and at that time, the back end team could not be available to help them. That also creates an issue. A, and another issue could be where the the review stakeholders, such as project managers or business analysts or quality assurance, would want to know when the deployment is done so they can proceed with their work but the information could not be relied to them on time these are the following issues that we've noticed within an active development environment the solution is an ms teams board that is linked to the ccv2 portal and we gather all the stakeholders within a single group so they can interact with the bot. The, the developers could initiate builds and deployments within the group, so everybody is notified of them. And the other members could do the read queries, which would let them know about the progress of the builds and deployments and the availability of the environments, which could answer their queries. This would create the bot as a middleman or as a gateway to the CCV2 portal rather than the backend team or developer. Another upside is the use of bot through mobile. Because the bot is developed on MS Teams, using MS Teams mobile application, the developer could easily create and manage deployments and builds, and the other stakeholders could easily interact with the bot for the read queries. We'll be now going over through the technology stack used within the bot. The technology stack involves Teams tools kit, which is a way for us to integrate with Microsoft Teams. Essentially, it allows us to create a bot over there. It's powered by Node.js. We have written event-driven programming there, so which allows us to handle the user commands and queries. The bot is deployed on Azure uh, because Teams tools kit is very supportive of that platform and we're using SAP Portal API to interact with CCV2 platform. We'll now talk about the setup process. The setup process is fairly simple. Once the bot is added to the organization's teams, which is a one-time process, it is accessible for all the users of that organization. Uh, the process goes as follows. We have to create a group chat and add all the relevant members and also include the the bot currently it's named as devops bot to the group 
whoever adds the bot to the group becomes the admin the admin then has the has to provide api credentials of the ccv2 platform after the credentials are provided the bot is can access the ccv2 portal and the admin and the remaining participant can interact with the bot seamlessly we will now talk about the commands that the current bot offers the commands are as follows we allow the users to create build get their progress get the environment details create deployments get deployment progress get the bot admin admin can update the bot admin transfer the access we can give access to certain users this will allow them to create and manage deployments and builds rest of the users who do not have the create access cannot run the build and the deployment commands they can only run the read commands which are non-destructive and we have a help command which gives them the overview of the whole commands we have also kept certain things in mind when developing this we have disabled database initializing mode which is a destructive step and should be done manually by going to the ccv2 portal we have also disabled any deployments on production environments because we feel it's also a step that should be done manually by going through the ccv2 portal we'll now talk about the future developments here are the future developments that we have in mind cancelling an ongoing deployment the deployment is a time taking process and there can be scenarios where user would want to cancel their ongoing deployment so it's a nice feature to have getting and setting service properties though a complex process could be useful to create through the bot interface managing data backups data backups are very crucial and being able to manage them through the ccp2 bot could be useful managing user and groups this could certainly prove useful in the scenarios where user management is needed triggering deployments automatically after build completes as we know the first step is the build and after the build completion we do the deployment we could build a system where the deployment would trigger automatically instead of a manual command needed by the bot and this is a very nice feature to have enabling notifications under scenarios where deployment is completed or build is completed it would be very useful for the users to be notified when their deployments and builds are completed this is a time comparison chart for the ccv2 manual way and the bot way as you can see the chart remains the same for ccv2 bot because there is a bar for every action and the the action is that the user would go to the login page enter their credentials then enter the two factor authentication then select their project and then perform the operation this step takes a constant amount of time every time which is not the case for the bot way which gives us the advantage the bot takes 5 to 10 seconds max which is the command writing time the the actions are instant where a user has to do these separate actions in a time separated manner uh, create a build wait 30 40 minutes and then initiate then again go to the ccv2 portal again initiate a deployment then again go to the uh, ccv2 portal to check the progress check here are the closing remarks we believe the bot has revolutionized the way we manage deployments during an active development environment multiple stakeholders can directly interact with the bot and get the information that they need which increases the transparency and boosts their efficiency the bot also takes the load away from the backend team so they can focus more towards their core work having the ability to manage all of these operations 
with the mobile teams application creates a world of ease for the users that are interacting with the bot this is a demo for the ccv2 bot first create a group on teams then head over to the app section select devops bot open select the group After that, the bot is added to the group. Whoever adds the bot to the group becomes the admin. In order to set up, admin has to enter this command, set up API token, then enter their API token and the subscription code of the project. These are very easily attainable codes, which can be found on the CCV2 portal. So first we'll run the first command. Tag DevOps bot. Set up API token. API token. And the subscription code. After the command is entered, the bot should give the notification that the API token has been updated successfully. Uh, this message can be deleted afterwards as it contains sensitive information. Now every person within the group can access the read commands and only admin and people with create access can do the right commands. Uh, we'll run the help command for a detailed summary about the commands. Let's do a help command. So as you can see, the right commands are create build, create deployment, uh, and that's it. But the read commands are getting build progress, getting environments, getting deployment progress, getting the bot admin. These can be categorized as read commands. So we'll first run a read command to check the bot's connection to CCV2. Get environments. And let's see the output. So you can see it pulls up the our environments that D1 is available and gives their status. This can be very useful information for uh, QA team. This would inform them if the environment is live or under deployment or it has failed deployment. This is a very useful information. So we'll head over we can also give access to participants of the group to create build and deployment like this give create access see and then the bot will give access to the selected user we'll now create an example build from the chat so we'll double spot Gate build. Let's say we'll name it test build and it will take from the branch this branch enter. And as you can see the build is now created. The code is returned from the CCV2. So now we'll go over to CCV2 and we'll check the builds. And as you can see, the, the one we created is now scheduled. And when it's deployed, the users can run the 
get build progress to know the progress of this specific build users can also run the get build progress command without providing a build code which will return the latest four builds and their progress status currently it's scheduled for build status is unknown but for the past builds you can see okay they were succeeded and then when it's in the success status we sh we can get their build code and raise the deployment against it this was a short demo for the ccv2 bot thank you for watching this and with that we are at the end of our presentation thank you for sticking around till the end i hope this was an informative session